Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Dave, and today we have an awesome story for you. Now, you notice that I'm wearing an army shirt, I've got my army hat on, and that's because we have a terrific story about a boy named Jake who's waiting for his dad to come home from the army. Now, here's our book, and here's Jake right here. All right, but before we start, let's say a little prayer. I'm going to take my hat off. And we're going to pray real quick. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our families. And we thank you for the way you speak to us through your stories. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, here's our book. And take a look. What does it look like? What can you tell? The Lord's Army. There's Jake. And what is Jake playing with? Yes! He's playing with some army men, and those are just like the army men that I have set up right here. Look at these guys. Hey, these guys aren't supposed to be here. Wrong story. All right. Let's get back to talking about Jake, and we'll see. The Lord's Army and Jake. Mama couldn't wait to wake up Jake and tell him that Daddy was coming home today from the Army. But Jake was not in his bed. After a quick guess, Mama looked through the back door, and there was Jake with his toy soldiers lined up in front of him. Attention, Jake announced. Today, we are going to fight a monster. But Jake had one problem. He couldn't get Oscar to come out of the doghouse. That's because Oscar was Jake's dog. See? Come out right now, Oscar, Jake yelled. He tried pulling the dog out by the paws, but Oscar just growled. Why doesn't Oscar do what I say? Jake asked his mom when she stepped outside. Hmm, said mom. Why don't we have breakfast and ask Daddy about this? But Daddy is away. Is he? Mama said with a smile. Look at the surprise that she had. Jake's dad had come home. Before Jake had time to say anything, he heard a knock on the front door. Jake ran as fast as he could and jumped into his daddy's arms. Daddy, Jake screamed. I missed you so much. I miss you too, buddy, said daddy. Here, are you hungry? I sure am. Mama made our favorite breakfast. Daddy, let's go see. I wonder what his favorite breakfast is. After they passed around the pancakes, Jake told his dad about Oscar. I tried to make him come out, but he wouldn't do it. Maybe he didn't like you pulling on his paws, Daddy said. Son, do you want to be a good leader? Yeah, I do, Jake said. Then you need to treat people like Jesus did. You lead by serving other people, not by forcing people to do things. Well, Jake didn't understand. You mean, I can't just tell people what to do? And here they are having their breakfast time together. Jake's sitting there with his army hat, her pancakes, mom's helping, and dad just came home. Now remember, Jake said, you mean... I can't just tell people what to do. Well, Dad looked into Jake's eyes. Did Jesus ever force people to follow him? Jake shook his head no. So why do you think so many people would follow Jesus? Jake knew right away. It's because he loves them so much, and he listens to them, and he helps them. And there's a picture of Jesus helping the, the kids. Look at that.
That's right, son. Did you know you are in God's army? Really, Daddy? Jake said with excitement. Yes, son. God recruited you to go out and lead people like his son Jesus did. Daddy, I'm going to serve my army guys some pancakes so they'll know that I care about them. Daddy winked at Mama. I'll go with you in case you need some help. So now they're going to go outside and they're going to feed the army guys. Daddy watched Jake give little pieces of pancakes to each of his army soldiers. Then he gave the rest of the pancake to Oscar. Oscar, this is for you, Jake said. Even though we'll be, we will be on opposite sides today, may the best man win. Well, that's a really good start, Daddy said. But then they watched as Oscar trotted up to the soldiers and toppled them over, eating every little piece of their pancakes. Oh no, Jake yelled. The big monster has won. But this battle will happen again tomorrow, and we will win. And there's Jake. He ran out of his doghouse with a pancake, and he toppled over all of the army men. Then Jake climbed into his daddy's lap. I'm going to be a great leader like you. Son, we are both in God's army. Let's be the best leaders we can together. That way we can show people God's love so they can find the love of Jesus. That's our assignment, son. And that's our assignment also, to go out and show people Jesus' love so that they will know the love of God the Father. Now, here's a letter that says, Letter from the King, right here. Now, this is God speaking to us. You are more than my child. You are my chosen warrior in my family. I have given you a special assignment to help people. You can lead others to me by the way you serve them. Remember, when you love like Jesus, you are acting like a real leader in my army. Now, we also have, oops, I closed that too quickly. We always want to make sure that we're getting something from the Bible itself. And in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, it says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race and I have remained faithful. 2 Timothy 4, 7. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.